Hello everyone, this is Minoxen coming to you with another high definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth, and I'm joined here uh, by my lovely co-caster, Smock. Uh, thank you, Smock, for joining me. No problem, looking forward to it. Good, good. Yeah, I was actually given this replay um, by one of my doting fans. No, I don't want to sound conceited, but uh, I was actually told that this replay is pretty epic, so hopefully we're in for a good match here. And uh, it's, of course, banning draft, which I always find to be much more interesting than going the banning pick route because you just, you know, you're getting a different pool of heroes every time. So um, I definitely prefer banning draft. And speaking of banning, uh, do you want to go ahead and go over the bans that we do have here? Yeah, for sure. Um, I just do want to say, though, that I also prefer banning draft, and if anyone who organizes tournaments, cough, 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 is watching this, you should definitely organize a banning draft tournament, because I find it much more interesting to watch, and it really shows, I feel, like a lot more strategy on the part of the team captains, but that's just my opinion, and I will now go with the bands like you asked me to. <laughs> so we have Soul Stealer, Engineer, Demented Shaman, and Valkyrie, not completely unsurprising and this is by the way st I believe still when Armadon was bugged so uh, they had a mutual ban on Armadon yeah so they did go ahead and agree to uh, keep Armadon out of it um, if you all can read the chat there I'm sure that uh, you'll be able to see uh, but anyhow uh, yeah nothing really strange on the bans there uh, Demented Shamans may be a little odd to me but I guess given the the pool that's available maybe they just didn't want him in the mix but uh, well yeah, like he's he's a really good babysitter, and especially com um, combined with uh, you can combine him with Madman, Nighthound, or Sandwraith, and I feel like they just wanted to get that out of the mix. And a lot of the time, you will see the the really good support heroes band. So yeah, yeah, I was kind of actually thinking maybe with Demented out of the picture, we might actually see a Cursed being thrown in as a babysitter or something like that. But um, not sure if that. Oh, we might. Now nope, Jack is just playing with me. He's jacking with me. But anyways, okay, what do we have? We have the Hellborn has four of their heroes picked out so far. So I will go ahead and touch on those. We have Tundra, Hellbringer, Gladiator, and Chipper so far. And looks like they might round it out with uh, the shadow pick of Puppet Master. But uh, just also noting that there are quite a few uh, well-known pl players in this matchup. We have Warden, of course, uh, General D, JCP Lord, uh, several members of Xfin here, and everyone is at least 18, 27 or higher, so should certainly be, you know, a, a match of skill. So, I don't know who they're going to round out with on the Hellborn side there, but uh, I'll go ahead and touch over on the Legion, and since they've gone ahead and finished their roster, and then I'll let you touch on them here. Well, we've got Magmus, Puppet Master, Polywog Priest, Arachna, and Thunderbringer. Hmm, that's an interesting lineup. What do you, uh, what do you think, Smock? Well, this is why, again, why I absolutely love banning drafts. Is you just get weird lineups like this and something that like you don't usually see in competitive matches. And I mean, I at this point, I kind of like the Legion team better, um, just generally because they ha they do have a a better late game um, in Arachna than Tundra does. And I think that the last pickup there in Blacksmith, I'm, I don't know whether I completely agree with that. I think they might have been better going with the, that Accursed, like you mentioned before. And I'm a little surprised that Accursed wasn't picked up at all, to be frank. Yeah, that's a, that's, that is a little odd to me that, you know, I mean, I haven't seen him in a competitive match in quite some time, but, you know, he's still a, a, a very powerful hero to have there for uh, babysitting and and otherwise, and he's just generally pretty difficult to take out, and he's one of the tankiest babysitters that there are. Uh, of course, you know, Blacksmith probably being a, another good tanky uh, babysit since he does have such a high strength gain. But, um, yeah, I'm going to lean with you on the uh, Legion side here. You know, Puppet Master always has that really good carry potential, and then, you know, Arachna is known as the, the good solid hard carry there. I'm not really sure how they're going to divide their lanes up, but... Uh, I'm not sure who they're going to send middle. Arachna's been known for a good middle, but so is Thunderbringer or even Polywog, so not sure how they're going to mix that up. And one of the players, JCP's disconnected, so we're probably going to see a pause here. But going ahead and touching on the Hellborn side here, we've already uh, talked about the first ones there, and Blacksmith being picked up. What do you think on their squad? They don't really have that good hard carry like you'd mentioned here earlier. Yeah, they definitely, well, they do have Gladiator, and uh, they do have Sebuska on that Gladiator, so I wouldn't be surprised to, s to see them trying to get um, him farmed really early because he, he is capable of playing a carry. I, they do look like they're going to send Gladiator and Tundra together, which is quite interesting because Tundra can also get really, really beefy um, if he, he does get that farm. So I'm interested 
why they're sending those two together and maybe not sending Hellbringer with one of them, but we'll have to wait and see what they do this side for their lanes. Again, with that blacksmith pickup, I'm not really sure what they were going for. Um, I I don't know. I, I keep going back to the picking up a curse, but he's he's so such a great hero now that especially he can... Uh, he can shield off stuns, and there's a lot of uh, CC coming out from the Legion with uh, Puppet Master and Polywog Priest on there. So, I don't know. I don't really like this Hellwork team, They're just based on what was left on the board um, <laughs> back in the in the picking phase. But I should, guess I should get over that and just watch the game. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, they do... <sighs> they did end up uh, getting second pick, and let me go back to my pick notes here. Magmus was the first one that was picked up, and that was followed pick by Tundra. Notes? And... Are you kidding me? Of course I have pick notes. You have pick notes? <laughs> I have to go back to this so I can see what the You're strategy like the, was in the this. the try-hard version of a cast. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> At least, I, d do you remember what order they were picked in? Smock? I really don't. Procaster Smock? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, well, I'm just Call touching me in here. So, yeah, that was Magmus followed by Tundra and Hellbringer. That was followed by Puppet Master and Polywog, Gladiator and Chipper, Arachna and Thunderbringer, and then Blacksmith, of course. But, yeah, picking up Tundra. Of course, Tundra is a solid hero, but, you know, they had plenty of other opportunities to pick up, you know, Arachna or some of the other uh, harder carry potentials there. But I I'm not sure. They, you know, they've got t uh, definitely a semi-carry or carry... Um, aspect in Gladiator, if he can land those ultimates, land his pit trap, a lot of that just comes down to timing and having a good, you know, amount of disables on your squad as well, so that way you can land those, and they really don't have that, you know, Chipper doesn't really have that, a uh, stun, he's got his little mini stun, Hellbringer's got a slow, you know, Tundra has his ultimate, but Blacksmith has his slow and stun, but, and it looks like, uh, middle here, we do have, uh, that's a little odd, Gladiator and Blacksmith showing up middle, I was kind of maybe expecting uh, Tundra to take that, but Tundra is now down bottom with Hellbringer. And, yeah, how did these lanes end up? We don't see a tri lane, thankfully, so that's good. Yeah, well, that is good, but, I mean, they're definitely going for a ganking lineup if you look at their lineup, and I, and I guess that's what they were going for with the blacksmith pick. Um, they, for the five heroes, anyway, everyone, despite Hellbringer, I guess, um, are really, really good at, at ganking and so if they can get if they can end the game early, they're that's pretty much what they're going for at this point. Obviously, they don't really want to let it get to late team, but they don't have that great lanes, being the fact that uh, they have two melee in the middle here against Polywog, and I mean they have two. Um, oh, I guess they have three melee. Just Tundra at the bottom being maybe sit by that Hellbringer, but I don't know. I kind of would have liked to see Gladiator instead of Tundra being maybe sat, but maybe that's just me. Yeah. Um Hmm. I, I do kind of like, you know, I think that they're waiting to get Gladiator built up middle here because, you know, once he does get that uh, flagellation or the whip crack, whatever it's, I don't know why they called it flagellation, whip or something would have been much easier, but uh, we'll just call it whip for the sake of that. But once he gets that whip skill leveled up there to where he can use that more effectively, he's going to be a, a very nice matchup against Polywog there. I think, and uh, then maybe they'll go ahead and use Blacksmith as more of a roaming slow stun to try and pick up on some kills. But uh, at top here, we have Thunderbringer and uh, Chipper doing a little bit battle of the creeps there, trying to pick off that creep camp that uh, the Legion managed to pull their creeps over to. Been a while since I've seen him pull that off. Uh, we do have the ward going up from Jacka there to keep an eye on the, um, the rune, which is a region rune top. No one's managed to pick that up yet. And... Uh, We've got the counter ward placed uh, down in the Legion side here, taken out so they can't pull these creeps either. But uh, so right now we're just kind of stuck in that whole uh, you hit me, I'll hit you back kind of phase. So <laughs> we'll uh, hopefully yeah. see a little bit of action here soon. Um, Blacksmith and Gladiator is a very good combo, except, no, unfortunate that Blacksmith has got that mana potion despelled. But uh, yeah, with their double range stuns that you can. Polywog is going to have a difficult time in this mo lane going to versus one, so that's definitely why they did send those two together. Um, and Gladiator should have no problem getting at least a little bit of farm in that middle lane against Polywog. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's and probably he is, you know, Gladiator is currently leading uh, the creep kill so far with 15 and 2, and that's of course then followed by Arachna, who's doing well into top lane. And it looks like so far, as far as creep kills go, I'm thinking that it's pretty well tied up here. Just, you know, that 
of course the people who are needing to get them are getting them and I think that uh, with that combination they got middle they are going to go ahead and win that over Polywog at least for a while here until he gets his wards to where he can use that more offensively to go ahead and take down that tower where they won't have that easy escape method. Oh and we do Bottom. have, dang it, uh, we have <laughs> Puppet Master getting ran down after taking down, uh, which one did he take down? Hellbringer. Oh, did you see that dodge? Tundra uh, throwing out the piercing shards as Magmus perfectly timed his lava surge to dodge the damage from it uh, with the immunity there. A uh, very nice move. That probably would have killed him if he'd have gone ahead and landed those. And it looks like they are going to complain a little bit about that uh, in the uh, chat. Yeah, that was pretty epic. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. That's just warden all over just being a pro player right there but yeah puppet master did initiate did initiate excuse me onto uh hellbringer there he just was a little too cro close to the creep wave as as it died and was running backwards so he he got that he got that puppeteer's hold off one thing that i do find a little bit strange and i guess it's who do they have bottom down here they have puppet master is just, I guess, using Thunderbringer is more of a, a babysit type thing here, you know, and he's got the wards, he's playing the, the support role here, it seems, and uh, just, I, I, I don't know, I'm just not familiar with seeing a, a nuke babysitter uh, being played here to assist that Arachna getting her kills. It might be the case of just uh, player superiority at this point. Um, I don't know who Jacka is, honestly. Um, I don't know if you know who he is. Uh, no, I think he was one of the the higher 1800s, but yeah, he's not in a clan, I don't believe. Yeah, it so. might just be the fact that instead of Polywog going in with Arachna top, uh, JCP Lord just said, you know what, I want mid. And so that's <laughs> what I assume happened at this point. I'm, I'm JCP Lord, gonna... you're going top. Exactly, exactly. That's usually what happens in these kind of in-house pub matches. So, <laughs> In-house pub, there's a contradiction for you. That's not... What yeah, I mean well, every team you know has to I have mean. their rares, so... And yeah. I, I don't know if they know these players. Oh, and uh, bottom we have uh, Lava Surge coming out onto Hellbringer. Uh, and Magmus catching the uh, poison there. And he's going to sit in his steam bath. And Tundra's going to be denied from the kill there as he does get the Puppeteer's hold off. But the, oh, the piercing shards do come out there as he's trying to run away and gets caught. And Puppet Master doesn't seem too happy uh, with his teammate <laughs> Warden there as he, he sat in his steam bath maybe a little too long waiting for the... Uh, the lava surge and for the poison to wear off there, so <laughs> <laughs> definitely um, they're they're feeling a little audible in this game. They feel like they need to express themselves. Well, that is the fun of in-house games. You uh, you can you know everyone on the other team as well. So now, of course, Magma's stunning in and using that steam bath again just to be annoying. But yeah, it looks like he's just gonna sit there in that, uh, not really. Accomplishing too much. I guess he has an XP range, maybe, so... Huh. Alright, well, uh, what do we have going... Oh, we've got Blacksmith coming middle here. Gonna try and get a loop around on the back side of this Polywog Priest. Uh, he's gonna go over here and sit. Looks like they're waiting for a, that Polywog to go ahead and move out just a little bit more so they can get that surround on him there. Get the stun and slow off. Uh, what skills do we have on Blacksmith? He does get... He has level 2 of both Flaming Hammer and his Fireball, so he's got a good combination there. Oh, and look from behind! Thunderbringer's coming up! Polywog Priest throws down the wards, gets the Tongue Tied on Gladiator. The Thunderbringer coming from the Hellborn side, and Blacksmith coming from the Legion side. Oh, and Hellbringer joining in too! He's gonna get taken down. So a 2 for 1 going in favor of the Legion there. Both teams setting up the jump, and uh, unfortunately it looks like the uh, Legion's jump worked a little bit better. Yeah, I always love those double ganks in the middle lane. You see it actually more and more nowadays as people are moving around the lanes more. But uh, it's always just basically who who gets the jump first off, and and uh, yeah, it's fun to watch. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> there until just at that last second, and then I moved the camera off from Polywog as he did the tongue tied, but. Uh, nice, nice coordination coming from them there, and uh, unfortunately he didn't get his full extent of his tongue tied because Blacksmith came around to ruin that little fun, but they ended up picking up two kills, so they can't be too upset that they lost Polly. Especially since, I guess Thunderbringer got that extra experience, so that'll be nice for him. Now he does have his level 6 ultimate, or well, he's level 6 and he has his ultimate, therefore. <laughs> 